Hello, this is our international marketing case study on Louis Vuitton. My name is Gage Clavette. And my name is Polina Boyle. Louis Vuitton originated in Paris in 1854, where they focused on making handmade leather bags. They soon after expanded. They created their company more as a luxury brand, not one that changed within over time or within different fashion styles. Um, they never did markdowns to focus on the idea of them being a luxury brand. By 2007, the company had over 2,048 stores worldwide and since then have expanded the variety of products to not only purses, but perfumes, clothing, jewelry, and other accessories as well. Louis Vuitton is now opening its third store in the emerging country of India. It will be located in a new luxury mall of the major city of New Delhi. The company needs to change its customer profile from the so-called super rich, which refers to those who shop abroad, to the so-called next lower level. The question at hand is how to get these customers to feel the need to purchase Louis Vuitton products. The next question is, does a high-end product like Louis Vuitton have long-term market potential in a low-income economy like India? Simply, the answer is yes. Um, India's luxury goods have been growing more than $255 million a year. In the world of luxury goods, India is by far the fastest growing market, and it's predicted to grow by an additional 86% by 2018. So there's been three reasons for the shift that Indians enjoy luxury products. First of all, the Indian custom has changed. Um, they are into the idea of personal adornment, which has led to a strong demand for luxury goods. So giving to themselves and not working for everything else. Second, luxury goods are perceived as an investment to Indians. So holding on to goods has been a good hedge against inflation and currency risk. And third, Indians are starting to believe that using luxury goods are a marker for success to show how all their hard work has led to where they are at this point. To continue, um, the rise in discretionary spending for Indians has significantly grown. We can first look at the graph on the right um, that shows the luxury goods sales in comparison to total annual gross income. And you can see that it's very high even in the past in comparison to the future as well. The number of households in 2014 to 2030 who are earning around 10,000 to 25,000 um, will rise, is considered to rise significantly, which is creating a solid base for luxury goods. There's a new generation of Indians who will be taking over the Indian wealth. Um, even the, those who are not born as of right now are predicted to contribute into this Indian wealth um, and into this new generation of higher incomes. By 2000 or 2035, the Indian economy is expected to be the third largest in the world. Um, this gives it a solid base for luxury good products entering India. So to conclude, the growing high income population in India is what is really going to help Louis Vuitton in the, low, the long term. The next question is where should Louis Vuitton find its market niche? We think that India has already found its market niche. The reason they chose to go to India in the first place was to gain access to the massive population and potential customer base. What also helped them make their decision to go there was that most of the urban middle class who are young and have a big preference towards Western brands are the largest and most quickly growing part of the population. In terms of location, Louis Vuitton should find its market niche inside luxury malls and or villages if they can. Like the article said, a good portion of their sales comes from footfalls, which is basically from window shoppers who are already in the area. LRCs, or luxury retail clusters, act as a magnet for the types of consumer that Louis Vuitton wants to attract. When multiple luxury stores surround each other, it creates an ambiance of class in which high-end retail shoppers enjoy and statistically makes it more conducive to purchasing more products. The next question at hand is, how should Louis Vuitton deal with the changing consumer profiles in India? First of all, we need to start by understanding what the new profiles are. First, Indians are now becoming more socially connected with this new generation using internet such as Facebook or Twitter. Um, so what Louis Vuitton can do to market is they need to use social media, which is a cheap source for advertisement. 
Next, Indians have become more environmentally aware. They are aware of the dangers of environmental degradation. Um, Louis Vuitton should invest in environmental researches um, and offering environmentally friendly marketing or even hosting different events that focus on the environment. Next, they've become style conscious with this new generation of Indians who are exposed to global media. They do see the different styles across the world. This is actually not an issue for Louis Vuitton as it's already established its customer, its image um, of being a stylish product across the globe. Next, Indians focus on, they don't have strong brand quality or loyalty, excuse me. Um, there's a lot of similar products on the market in India. So what Louis Vuitton needs to focus on is promoting ways that it can differentiate itself from its competitors, focusing on the idea of a luxury product with good quality. Last, Indians are very informed on their purchases. Um, they'll explore all the information on the products, such as comparing and contrasting um, product alternatives and figuring out all the different benefits of each product. What Louis Vuitton needs to do is they need to focus on explaining the benefits of the product clearly and give as much detail as possible to their consumers so they can pick their product. Moving on, we talk about how should Louis Vuitton deal with the changing concepts of luxury in India. The biggest change in the concept of luxury in India would be Louis Vuitton's challenge of identifying, developing, and nurturing a new generation of luxury consumers from scratch. Having said this, if done correctly, Louis Vuitton should be able to mold these consumers to enjoy the types of quality for this product, taste for the good life, and a feel for that type of lifestyle. What makes it difficult to answer this question is the fact that almost 30% of the population in India are living below the poverty line. Considering this, there isn't a large pre-existing concept of what luxury really means for the majority of the largest part of the population, which also happens to be their target market. On a more positive note, in regards to a study named Emergence of Closet Consumers in the Indian Luxury Market, we can refer to a graph which displays the changing share of luxury categories. These categories include luxury products, luxury services, and luxury assets. Since 2008, the graph shows that the focus and amount of expenditures has shifted from mostly luxury assets to mostly luxury products. This is great news for Louis Vuitton because they are obviously in the luxury products market. Moving on to major marketing issues and recommendations. One thing they need to make sure they do is market towards the correct audience. This is important because since almost 30% of the population is below the poverty line, they need to make sure they don't waste part of their marketing budget on people who can't afford the product. They also need to make sure they distinguish their marketing tactics between the old and young population because their values have shifted and are very different. Next, they need to focus on the cultural differences. As most of Louis Vuitton stores are in the United States or in France, um, more in the European area as well, they need to make sure that the culture from there is changing to their advertisements to the culture in India. Um, these strategies are important and make sure they fit the needs of the Indians. Um, next is marketing their product as a reward. So Indians value the idea of personal adornment as pre previously said, so giving for themselves such as leisure activities or spending. So Louis Vuitton needs to market their product as a reward for all the hard work that to show the new income and where the Indians have become to.